We finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Keep going, more. Well, good day and welcome to this edition of the Red Raider Coaches Show. My name is Brent Johnson along with Offensive Coordinator Matt Wilson and Linebackers Coach and Special Teams Coach uh, Mr. Austin Wilder. I uh, want to thank uh, these guys, gentlemen for uh, joining us today. Um, well guys, we're going to get right to it. You know, last week uh, we had our second region matchup where we traveled uh, down to Brooks County and you know the the result didn't end quite like we anticipated or hoped for, um, but we knew we were going to a place where we talked about that culture of winning. Um, one of the one of the best coaches in the state um, in, the, in the last decade or two. Uh, one of he finally got that, uh, that other state or did he win the state championship in '94? Was that a different coach? It was him. It was him. Okay, so he, he uh, you know, 19 years later or whatever it was, he wins another state championship. Um, for Brooks County a few years back and so again we, were, we knew what we were up against just just by traveling down to Brooks County uh, and then we faced a, a pretty good football team. Yep. Um, they showed that size and athleticism. Um, you, you explained to us and the audience that uh, don't look at their record. You know, yes. They played some yeah. pretty, pretty stout football teams uh, all season long and sometimes that can get in your mind um, as to well you know they don't look too good on paper from a, from a record standpoint but um, and when we got there, they, again, it's just a great atmosphere, and that, that's you know, and that's what we want to see and be a part of, and that's what we were. Um, so, coach, t tell us a little bit about, you know, what we tried to do, you know, what we uh, um, were unable to do for, for various whatever the, whatever the reasons were from an offensive standpoint. Offensively, um, we wasn't, once again, we, we didn't really execute good at all. I mean, the first drive we really should have, probably should have scored. Mm -hmm. I think they ripped the ball out of our hands, and that could that could change the game right there. Absolutely. So that's execution, and, and, and it was just all night, just wasn't really executing. Didn't seem our focus was there. So um, right now, right now, we're trying to get, we're trying to come back to the fundamentals of the game. We're going, we're we taking a step back. Hey, let's work, work on fundamentals, hustling, doing that, doing the, that stuff the right way, which we've, preached all year, so we're trying to get back to that. But offensively, it was just execution. Um, I think a turnover or two, you know, we, we're trying to get, we, we got to get rid of that type of stuff. So yeah. we just, uh, execution. Well, you know, we started the game uh, on defense, and, and me and Sky had talked about, you know, over the course of the away games at least, especially, you know, we, we kicked the ball off three and out, and we'd go down and scored. And, um, and man, we had an opportunity. I think the second play of the game, Brooks fumbled the ball, and we, we collected on about the 25-yard line. But unfortunately, to my execution, I think after two plays, we were 15 yards. We were on like the 40, you know, from penalties yeah. and some other other uh, other things. And that, that again, that just that just hurts you. If we were able to, and then we still had, like you said, we had a chance to to score a touchdown. He had it, and and they made it. I think they made a good play, and, and on combination of hitting the ground, um, he had the ball in hand and. Um, so we almost had a chance to put a touchdown on the books right there early mm -hmm. and could have, whether it had changed the 
outcome of the win or loss for us, I, I think it could, definitely could have changed the dynamic momentum. of the game. Some momentum, old Mo would have showed up for us a little mm -hmm. there. Um, but but yeah, I think from an execution standpoint, it was uh, you know we we I think we've. Uh, we, we declined that game particularly, you know, on the offensive side yeah. of the ball. Um, now, from a defensive standpoint, boy, I mean, they had some dudes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I watched a little bit of film last week, and I, I told you the, the Brooks and Irwin game, maybe that was the wrong game to look at because the quarterback didn't look very efficient. Um, he was just kind of slinging it and throwing it around and a lot of incompletions and a few completions, but and he was dropping dimes the other night. And, and on top of, uh, of, of them – you know, having some really good receivers. The, the, the guy on the, uh, that was on the left side all the time, I, I, was he 6'4", 6'5"? 6'4", almost 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, just a great looking kid and he was tough to defend. And, and you know, it's just a mismatch. Mm -hmm. You know, we were, we were on a mismatch a lot on that, on the back end. Um, and sometimes you, you can get, you get whipped like that and you do everything you can to try to challenge them. Um, and, and we did get beat a couple times, but again, he threw it perfect. Mm -hmm. Almost every throw. Yeah. Uh, and they took advantage of that. So, um, so from a diff defensive standpoint, we, we struggled on the back end. And so, just you know, tell us uh, some other 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 issues we might have run into. Uh, we um, we start off the game with the turnover. Um, we ended up with three this whole game, um, and that's we try to create as many turnovers as we can. But also in that, you have to kind of schematically do your job. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think we did a good job of stopping the run, like. At, at times, at times they squirted through there a couple of times, and I think, you know, we held up in the past game enough, but we still, they still got their shots. They're going, their team is going to take their shots. They got a quarterback that can sling it, um, and you know, due to some, you know, injuries at halftime, we had to adjust and run a different scheme, you know, and uh, you know, they just, they, they just executed. And we didn't. That, that was the name of the game. I mean, I. I think at times we we showed promise and we showed that you know hey we're we're here and then I think at times you know we sputtered out a little bit yeah. and that's just me being truthful yeah. and honest and I think the kids appreciate that we're honest with them about that type of stuff um, but I think I think they're a really good team I really do I think they got a really good offense I think their their offensive coordinator is one of my good friends and and he uh, he he's good at calling it from the sideline you don't see a lot of OCs that can really. You know, see where they need to go and everything like that from the sideline. But you know, he did a good job. And hats off to him. Yeah. If we if we beat him in the playoffs, we'll we'll, we'll see how that we'll see goes. how it goes. And and hopefully we'll have that opportunity. You know, before the game, uh, Sky and I were talking about. Right, I I've really emphasized it several times. Is you know, all season long we've you know just hadn't been too many seasons to where every game we were matching up with these other teams physically from a size standpoint uh, and physicality. And from an athletic standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's that third component that every team struggles with, not just us. Um, it's that mental component. It's between mm -hmm. the ears. And, and um, I don't think it's a lack of preparedness uh, because I see and know what you guys are doing during the week. I listen to the boys talk um, as far as a preparedness. But at some point, you know, there is, even though I've talked about this before too, 15, 16, 17, some 14-year-old boys, um, they have, they have to take some responsibility too. You can't run the ball for them on the field. You can't throw it for them. You can't block for them. You know, you're doing all that during the week, and they have to execute. Um, and at this time of the season, it, it, it reflects. You know, it, every play reflects because of the, the, uh, the type of competition that we're playing. And, and everything is magnified. Um, and, again, it's, that's where we're at. You know, and, and we'll just move right straight in from Brooks County. We're going to wipe the slate there. And, Man, we got another big ball game this week where I firmly believe, maybe I'm just a hopeless uh, optimistic, um, but I just firmly believe that we can, we can beat Irwin County at home tomorrow night. We're, we're, we're still capable of that, again, from that physical standpoint, from the athleticism. It's just going to be, if our boys are going to be mentally prepared and ready to, to get it done. That's right. Um, you know, it, it, I, I believe it's not hard to see uh, that Irwin County is a, a little lower than they've been in the past, and and we, by gosh, we need to take advantage of that because number one, we're better than we have been in the past, and uh, so so what can we anticipate? We know they lost a lot of guys last year. Number one, their quarterback, and I think that's probably been the biggest difference. Uh, Solid Day's son, I believe, graduated, um, and, I, and maybe about four or five weeks ago, 
they lost uh, their, their better, better running back. Uh, I think he maybe broke an ankle or had a leg injury, lower leg injury. Um, so they've, they've had some tough times, but um, what can we expect, uh, you know, us to be able to maybe do yes. against their defense? What we're going to see this tomorrow night? Um, number one, this week we amped, it, we amped it up in the weight room and we amped it up in practice. I'll be honest with you. On Tuesday, we went, we get, we did some one on ones, mm. and we saw who who still wants to play and and just kind of challenge them a little bit. That's right. And that was good, and they got after it, and they they accepted it. And and also, I mean, this is this is senior night too this Friday. That's right. So we, you know, we trying to the senior, we're trying to play for the seniors. I mean, they you know they've had a four year, they've had a crazy four years, and and they've helped us build it back up. And, you know, they're the foundation now. We we want to play for them seniors and and get this in. Um, so first of all, that's how you know. So that's kind of how we're taking this approach this week. You know, it's senior night. We, we seniors got to play out, and everybody got to play for them seniors. That's right. So um, defensively, Irwin, they're they're a three four generally. Sometimes they'll bring they'll bring another lineman in. They probably will against us because you know we're heavy run. Um, I know number ninety on the D line. He he was all state last year. And he's preseason all state. He's a big. He's mm -hmm. a good one. He's a, he's on the. He'll be on the end. And fifty seven another good one. Um, they got. To, they're they're going to be it's Irwin. They're traditionally defensively they're yeah. going to get after it. You yeah. know they're like Brooks. They're going to get yeah. after it. That's right. So um, just expect it's, it's going to be a physical game. So we just got to execute and do what we're supposed to do, and we'll be fine like always. And and the, the penalty keep the penalty like you said that first drive and that, and that's a mental thing. The penalties that first drive against Brooks that I mean we're not we can't. Well, I don't have any calls for first and twenty. Yeah. So you know, second twenty set, you know, second and eighteen, yeah. stuff like that. So you know, and and we 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 and they were fine. They we took a point to to go over that. As like I said, we amped it up this week. So, um, and they they stepped they stepped up to the challenge. So That's good. we're we're excited about that. And we're, we 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 plan to get after it tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen. We we plan to get after, get after it. it. Well, that's that's all we we talked before the before we the recording and. Um, that's all we. That's all we want. Is it. is 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 to compete. You know. That's it. And you, you said it. That you, you you coaches have never said you got to win, but you got to do what it takes to win. To try. You know. To to put forth that effort during the week. Um, you know. We see it. Uh, and I like to hear that. You know. You get physical uh, on, on these days during the week. You. And I always go back. And, and just because the team, they're the team I pull for, and I'm sure there's other teams in the country that do it, but. You know, Kirby Smart just emphasizes the physicality mm -hmm. that they show during the week, and you have to earn your spot, mm -hmm. you know, on, on, to play on Saturday. Uh, every week, it's not just, you know, just for the season over the summer, you're, you're earning your spot. And um, so it's good you get back to the basics, it's like you yep, said, and, um, and and get get back to that physical nature that we've seen so many times over this, uh, this season. And listen, this has been a long season. You know, it has. You know, uh, you factor in the two breaks and – and the weather's turning cooler, and basketball's around the corner, and you know, and um, in the past, <clears throat> unfortunately, you know, before this new region with just four teams, a lot of times our season was winding up to tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. But you know, and that's a, again, that's a mental thing uh, that some of these kids have, have don't know about, mm -hmm. um, and of just preparing themselves to hey, let's play to Thanksgiving, you know, let's go, sure. let, let's be practicing the day after Thanksgiving. And, and see what that feels like, those types of things. And again, that's that mental, um, just, just getting over that hump, realizing that they are good enough to, to, to take that next step, and then hoping that, that, again, they'll do everything that it takes during the week, and especially on Friday night, from the first snap to the last approach. <coughs> what can we anticipate uh, from a defensive standpoint? What, what, what kind of uh, attack they're going to bring tomorrow night? To uh, they're a traditional wing tee team. They've been, they've been wing tee for forever. Um, it feels like when I was in high school and everything, they were they were wing T. So they're gonna bring the wing T mentality, a lot like you know, a little bit different than Johnson, but a lot of the same formations. Uh, they like to bring in a heavy package and bring bring some big boys in. So we have to prepare for that. But at the end of the day, um, just put the ball down and let's play. That's that's the the whole. I feel like the mindset of this week with coaches going into this week. Let's just put the ball down and compete. Give us an opportunity to compete. It don't matter if we're playing in the park of, parking lot. That's right. Let's just compete. Let's just compete and be physical. Just let it loose. I mean, that, for seniors on senior night, just let it loose and, and not not think about anything. And the thing is, is that you get to continue your legacy tomorrow night. That's right. Not in your legacy, but continue your legacy. 
And I think that's a big thing with seniors on senior night. They, it's an emotional time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't you can't blame people for getting emotional yeah. about it because it's your last home game. Right. And but it's not the end of your legacy. It's just the beginning. And you can continue what you built on this year. This senior class has done by coming out tomorrow night, competing, just put the ball down. We don't care. Yep. Let's just compete. Give us an opportunity every play. And it's going to take little moments. You know, I went. I heard the uh, Kirby talking at halftime. Uh, I think it was versus South Carolina. He was talking about small moments. It's going to take small moments. And well, from this point to the. Uh, Whenever our season ends, hopefully it's at the state championship in Atlanta, um, it's going to take little moments, little opportunities and little moments that we're going to have to take advantage of. That's right. Whether it's a blocking my guy all the way, making a tackle, getting all the way to the hip of the guy before I leave my feet, and or balls in the air, let's play it all the way through, let's play the man, let's do what the coaches are asking us to do. That's going to be those little small moments. Well, um, Coach, I want to ask you, if I, I meant to mention this before to maybe put your thoughts together. What's what's at stake tomorrow night? If Obviously, if we lose this game, we're, we're going to be in that fourth spot. But if we win, it could complicate some things. It could, right, yeah, if we, if we lose, we're in the fourth. If we win, I think it's it's depending on if Pelham beats Brooks, then we'd all, I know if Brooks beats Pelham, then we're all in a three-way tie. And then it comes up to I think the region points, so it's hard to it's hard to tell. Okay, right, it's hard to tell, but we'll, we'll know Saturday. Yes, we should know Saturday yes. morning yes, or we late will. Friday night. Early yes, Saturday we morning. We will we'll know where it's a, where yeah. we stand. Because if we're in three way tie, it all comes in points differently, and I, I haven't even looked at okay. the, that. Okay, right. that so it, there's still yes, a possible there's math. still a possibility that we could end up in that in the third spot. Mm -hmm. um, but e either way, it, it looks like we will be traveling. Is yes. that correct? Yes, so, and. And I'll let y'all do the research on Heard County or Lamar County because that's what it's going to come down to in that region mm -hmm. four. It's going to be a little bit of a distance, um, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, but it, I'm just going to, uh, you know, reiterate what uh, Coach Wilder was saying. There's little moments, you know, and tomorrow night is a moment for you know this Red Raider team this year to to to, to get us over that hump and. and I never want to give another coach or another school any type of billboard material like we sometimes utilize other. I've totally respected Brooks County. I totally respect Irwin, but that's where we want to get to. That's what we want. We want to beat Irwin County. I'm not predicting a win, but we want we need we want that signature win. And 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 that's a and again I'm bragging on them that they're a signature team. That's where Bacon County wants to get to. And and Again, we're just trying to, to, to get over that hump, and maybe it will be tomorrow night, you know, at, unfortunately, at Irwin County's expense, but that is what it is. And, um, you know, we want to encourage you to come out uh, and support this Red Raider team. Don't give up on them just because of the last two weeks. We're in one of the pound-for-pound pound toughest regions in the state. Uh, look it up. It's true. And, um, and again, there's no excuse. We want to continue to play hard and compete. Uh, the physically, athletically, and most importantly, mentally. Uh, but it is senior night, um, yes. and, and we want to honor those guys. And it's not just the football players; it's, it's band members, it's cheerleaders, and, and a couple other sports that recognize them. But uh, come out early. I think it'll start about 7 p.m. Uh, as we honor these these players um, and these other athletes and participants um, tomorrow night. And then at 7:30, there's going to be a kickoff. And uh, and we're just you know we're hoping that again we're just going to have a chance. And I. I there's no doubt in my mind that this coaching staff is continuing to prepare our boys uh, to do just that. Um, and we're just hoping they're going to come out and, and execute and play the best of their ability. And, and we'll see what happens. Um, and we'll just, again, just see what happens. So uh, stay tuned. Um, you know, after the game or, or some, some social media posts on Saturday or through the weekend, it's going to give you some updates. Uh, the athletic director, Shug Parker, will uh, be, I'm sure, pushing out uh, some information as, as quickly as we get it. Uh, to determine where we'll go um, and all that kinds of stuff, um, but uh, but yeah, we're excited. Again, just to, we still have that opportunity uh, to do some really cool things. Chance for these guys I mentioned before the show to be, they could become legends tonight, or excuse me, tomorrow night, um, and then next week just continue their new legacy um, as we uh, pound our way through the playoffs. Um, and again, we're we're excited just for the opportunity. Guys, I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Um, for taking your time to, to be here. 
Um, and once again, I want to thank, uh, I failed too early, but you see the commercials and other things that I run, but I want to thank uh, verbally uh, Ben and Ben Johnson Insurance, that's Mr. Daniel Johnson, um, for uh, his title sponsorship of the football uh, season this year, as well as the Coaches Show. So again, thank you for joining us on this edition of the Red Raider Coaches Show.